Aortic aneurysm is enlargement of aorta due to weakness of its wall. And aorta bring the blood from the heart to all of the body. So aorta starts from the heart and then goes into the chest and then into the abdomen. And 95% of the time, it's the aorta below uh, the chest, mainly in the abdomen, which can get dilated uh, and the wall get weaker and uh, people can get dilatation or enlargement of normal aorta. So normal aorta is about two centimeters. And if it start to get bigger, uh, then there is a weakness in the wall. As I mentioned, it is the abdominal aorta, which is more common abnormal aortic dilatation is more common and it is up to 90 to 95 percent of the time it is in the abdominal aorta it start to get bigger and most of the time there are no symptoms and it is picked up during other investigations or due to unrelated symptoms or unrelated cause uh, the GP might have organized an ultrasound for some other uh, ailment, and then it's picked up that uh, the diameter of the aorta is bigger. So that is more common, that uh, aortic aneurysm, mostly small aortic aneurysms, don't have any symptoms in the abdomen. But if it starts to get too big, then a uh, patient can develop abdominal pain or a back pain, or rarely patient can start to get some pain in the legs or swelling in the legs or some change in their kidney functions. Uh, so those are the uh, different ways uh, the abdominal aortic aneurysm can be picked up. The diagnosis uh, can be little challenging. Uh, as I mentioned, most of the time it is picked up due to unrelated investigations or unrelated symptoms uh, on either an ultrasound examination or CT examination for some other, uh, during other investigations. Um, so uh, ultrasound of the abdomen is the simple investigation to find out. And there is now a national UK screening program. So any male patient on their 65th birthday, they get a single ultrasound scan of aorta. And up to three to five percent of 65 year old male uh, are being picked up to have an abdominal aortic aneurysm. And then once it is picked up, then we need to know what is the size of the aortic aneurysm. And if it is more than 5.5 centimeter, then it will, it will require treatment. But if it is less than 5.5 centimeter, then most of the patients either require three monthly, six monthly or 12 monthly ultrasound scan. First of all, the management for most of the vascular patients is the lifestyle adjustment. Uh, optimum body weight uh, and to consider to uh, get around the smoking if that is the case and to control the blood pressure if the blood pressure is one of the issues uh, or better control of diabetes. So first line of treatment is good healthy lifestyle and to optimize the underlying medical conditions. And then we can carry on ultrasound surveillance safely up to 5.5 centimeter size of abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is just over two inches. And once it reaches five and a half centimeter, uh, then of course patient need to be seen by the vascular consultant. And then we arrange further CT scans or CT angiogram. And then based on the CT angiogram and based on the fitness of the patient, 
then we will discuss the options of either open abdominal aortic aneurysm or a keyhole, which is endovascular abdominal aortic aneurysm surgery, which is up to 80% of the patients are suitable for endovascular abdominal aortic aneurysm surgery.